didn't make this right we're tier ranking today but specifically we're tier ranking popular book talk books oh this is gonna be so much fun because i hate book talk books this is my first tier ranking i've never done this before this is my tier ranking i have five ranking boxes obviously i went by each box being a star so the first one is five stars so this is the section of books that i will literally sell my soul to read for the first time again the second tier is my four star read so these are my cutesy little romance book that i could not put down i feel like i could give it a five star but these are just like very happy very fast paced type of romance books obviously that have me screaming giggling kicking my feet the third box i have is my like three stars type of books so like they're they're good books they're just not the best if that makes sense and then the fourth box is the plot is so bad that i push through because of the characters so that's that one and then the last box is a shot show actually i meant to say a shit show i don't know what happened there but um would not recommend do not read I think that's just like a zero star for me. Okay, so the first book is The Song of Achilles and I have this habit of not reading what a book is about before buying it. I didn't know this book was like a Greek mythology, non-romance kind of book. I ended up really liking it because it was so different. I loved the writing. I loved that it was something completely different from like what I normally would read. Also, I do want to say that I've read maybe like 90% of these books from like two three years ago some of these books i gave a five star from like two three years ago and i wouldn't give them a five star today i feel like my taste in books have changed but also not really but i'm just not interested in the things that i used to read two three years ago so this ranking is just based off of what i would just rate my books today next book that i have here is the hating game by sally thorne i didn't even watch the movie i think i gave this book a five star i thought it was very funny but at the same time i i feel like there was just like a lot going on because or i feel like there was just like a lot we didn't know because it was just like a one person perspective okay but if i were to read this book today i would probably give it a three stars honestly okay next book it ends with us and if i'm being quite honest i did give this book a five star i loved this book when i read it three years ago i thought it was like the best book ever i just didn't realize that this book is not really like a romance book but everyone on book talk just romanticized this book and just made it into this romantic story it is but at the same time that's not really the point of this book and i'm not gonna get into it so it's just gonna go there for now to love jason thorne i don't remember that book i don't even know what the story is about i think he's like a famous stunt double or something and um his best friend's sister is like in love with him and there's like fake dating going on honestly i think i gave it like a one or two stars forget it the seven husbands of evelyn hugo immediately would sell my soul to read that for the first time again i remember crying reading this book it's also one of those books that's not what i normally would read i read a lot of fluffy fuzzy romance and this book was not that at all this is like in my top three favorite books loved it the summer i turned pretty trilogy Ooh, um i love the show so much better than the books i feel like i would enjoy the series more if i had read it as a teenager um but I'll just put it there for now. From Lukov with Love, this girl in the book, she just kept blinking the whole time and it just like irritated me. Birthday Girl, I don't remember. I think this is an age gap book and I just remember like not liking it. The Unhoneymooners, 
Oh my gosh, this book was so cute. I personally loved it. It was funny. I love Christina Lauren and I love the bickering and just like the tension between these two characters. Summer Broken Rules is like not a not a fun kind of summary book. It, it starts off very depressing. But then this girl like meets this boy and they form like this friendship and it's just it's just like really cute. I loved it. The Inheritance Game. Who I love this series. I feel like the first book was just like the best book ever. But I still loved it. I felt like it was very fast paced and I love that it's a young adult and it was just truly different than what I normally would read. Oh my god, Beach Read. Honestly, you guys, this is like the worst Emily Henry book I've ever read. I was so bored out of my mind. Everybody loved this book. I personally could not get into it. I think this was my first Emily Henry book that I read. It just wasn't for me. It, I felt like it's supposed to be like a fun summer read and it just wasn't. Okay, next book we have is People We Meet on Vacation. I loved it. It was cute. I would recommend it. Okay, next on the list is the Addicted series. <sighs> Honestly, I am only reading the series for the characters because I have no idea what the plot of any of these books are. Like, it's just, it's like reading a reality TV show in my head. And it's so entertaining. That's the only reason why I kept reading this series. Like, this series is a five-star read for me because of the characters. And the next book is It Happened One Summer. This one was such an unexpected, like, book for me. I thought this was going to be, like, a very cute YA summer read. And then you get to the smutty part in this book and it's like, what just happened? It was so bizarre because I didn't expect that. I didn't... It was a nice surprise. Better than the movies. Oh my gosh, you guys know this is like my favorite book ever. Five star read. It definitely had me screaming, giggling, kicking my feet because I love these characters. I did read the second book in the series and... I would put the second book in only read for the characters. Spot. <laughs> that pretty much sums up. I felt about that book. The Twisted series. Oh my goodness. I don't know where to put this because I feel like the Twisted series plots in each book, nothing special. And some of the characters I did not like. I loved all the female characters. The second book, Twisted Games, is my favorite book in this entire series. I just love the male and the female character in that book. That was my first bodyguard trope and I loved it. It was just like very well done. Next one is funny you should ask. If somebody were to ask me what that book is about, I would say I have no idea. This was one of those books that you buy based off of a one line you see online. Didn't get it. Don't understand the plot. I just, no. Book Lovers by Emily Henry. I think this is my favorite book by her. Had me giggling. Small town romance, writers working together. Verity, ooh, um, you know, this book was so bad, but it was so good. If you've read this book, you know exactly what I mean and you know exactly how I feel. The plot twist in this book. You know what? It's a five star, honestly. This is like the only book by her I would give a five star, like today. Things We Never Got Over. I don't remember anything about this book because I listened to it. This was one of my first audiobooks. I just remember everyone being so childish and so immature. I just remember there being a child in this book and she was like the only like adult really. So no. Flawless. I recently just read this literally obsessed this book had me kicking screaming so fast-paced so funny loved every single character in this book it's just like a your regular um country small town type of romance then we have happy place by emily henry 
and I really wanted to love this book because I've been loving her writing after book lovers but this book was just just so repetitive I skimmed through this book because it was getting on my nerves I didn't really even like the characters in this book to be honest I felt like everyone was just so selfish also it, it just like it just wouldn't get to the point um the Spanish love deception oh, it has a special place in my heart. I can't hate this book, you know? Like, I just... I love it. Icebreaker! Ah, you guys. What the heck? There was just like, no plot. Zero. It was just pages and pages of smut. And it was driving me insane. Yours truly, oh my gosh, this book was the cutest book I've read absolutely loved it would recommend and it was so sad but it was so cute and i just i loved every page okay we have the fine print by lauren asher lauren asher books really will get you out of a reading slum okay we have marriage for one this is a marriage of convenience this book was just so adorable i loved it i love the characters we have wild love you guys know i love this book if you've seen my last reading vlog this is the one i'm so excited to read the rest of the books in the series i'm just like in love with Elsie Silver's characters. Like, I'm in my Elsie Silver era right now. Next book here is Love and Other Words by Lauren Asher. This is one of my favorite romance book. I gave this book a five star, so I literally would want to read this book again. Ew, Every Summer After. What the heck? This was like a ripoff off of Love and Other Words. I wouldn't recommend it. Just It was just a whole bunch of nonsense. Magnolia Parks? No words. I feel like Magnolia Parks is kind of like the Addicted series where it's just a whole bunch of nonsense and people are just there for the characters. But these characters aren't even likable. Oh my god. Honestly, this is the most horrible book I've ever read. It... I... Mile High... I just recently read this book and I expected so much more. To be quite honest with you, I didn't even like the characters. Corrupt? Awful. Would not recommend. Oh my gosh, the Dark Bird series. This is literally the only dark romance that I simply enjoyed. Would literally sell my soul to read this for the very first time again. Because this entire series was chef's kiss was just a masterpiece, loved it. There's so much that's happening. I love every single character, but everything was just like well thought out, well done, well written. The last book on the list is A Million Kisses in Your Lifetime. What the actual heck was that? This book reminds me of Icebreaker because it's literally pages and pages of smut. I didn't get it. I didn't like any of the characters in this book. I simply don't understand the whole plot of this book. It's just all over the place. Okay, so that was like a lot. I felt like there were more books on here. I didn't include any fantasy books because I wanted to do a separate video for just fantasy because there's so many fantasy that I want to talk about. I just feel like that needed to be like a separate video because I don't want this video to be too long. Okay, so that's all that I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!